Hello YouTube. All right, we finally received the shipment today of the newly released uh, Celestron CGXL, which is the larger 75 pound load capacity uh, mount, uh, German Equatorial mount from Celestron. This was just released uh, on February 1st and uh, did my order around the 3rd of February. I believe Astronomics told me I was the third person in line. And I just received a shipment today. So we're about ready to do an unboxing on this and I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like in box number one, the longer box, is the tripod. And I want to tell you that these are some absolutely meaty legs. I mean, we're talking, those are, it's about the widest, most, I mean, it's, they're, they're substantial. So let me go ahead and get this out of the box so you can get a better look at it. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, I've got pickles that likes to get in my scenes. But anyway, uh, this is a really substantial mount. I don't know if we can get some scale here, but you know, I wear a size 13 shoe, and we're talking this, the diameter of this um, mount is, I mean, it's just massive. So this is definitely, uh, just to, based on the weight of this tripod, this is definitely not a field tripod, folks. This, uh, this mount's definitely observatory class. So we'll unbox and get some more stuff and get it, uh, get it all assembled. Okay, so I can tell you this thing weighs a ton by itself. It's, it's all metal, which is great. Um, metal here, and then even your tray is metal. It may not sound it, but um, actually when you uh, unscrew this big uh, hand screw down here, this, this knob, you can get it to where you can rotate this, and then this is padded in between here. You have a padded area, and that's some nice, it's not just foam, that's some nice rubber. Uh, good, nice rubber material, probably hard to see. But uh, this is a really good quality tray. Another thing is, if you notice these little indentations here for orientation, you want to make sure that you uh, uh, spin it right where you have your front leg obviously facing north, and then your little uh, gouges here. This is for a tablet or a phone to sit in crosswise. So I guess it's, uh, if you wanted to... Uh, hook it up wirelessly possibly to the camera or whatever for polar aligning. It makes it a little easier uh, So uh, I'm actually going to be doing polar alignment with the star sense So um, we'll see how that works with a tandem mount with a C8 and a solar scope So I'll go ahead and uh, open the other box now. This was everything by the way that was in the uh, large long box uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open up the other one and uh, See what the mount looks like Okay, so I've got the uh, head, uh, out, the mount head out of the uh, box, and this is really uh, a heavy uh, mount. Uh, I will say this handle for pulling it in or moving it around works out really well. Uh, I don't know if I can get a scale, um, particularly on this, but uh, it's actually a really nice unit. The clutches are uh, very nice. They just do a one... They don't spin forever. Let me get around here. So you have a position up, and it goes down to a mechanical hard stop, and then you can turn your head. And, of course, your head has all of these. Uh, what have we got? An accessory. We have four accessories with the auto guider that's cabled throughout the mount, which makes it really nice. Let me see if I can get this clutch uh, redone here. Now, mine came with an off-color. I don't know if I noticed it or not. But this is kind of a nice feature from trim, from a trim point of view, off-color cap there. And uh, it looks like the uh, handles are removable. I don't know why you would, though. Perhaps if you're going to be permanently uh, in an observatory, I'm going to have mine permanently mounted in an observatory. But I'll probably just keep that on unless there's ever something that maybe a uh, aftermarket comes out for some sort of a polar scope alignment. But uh, let's look at the rest of this now. So here we have uh, auto guide, and then that's your PC for your USB, and we'll spin this around. It's nice. It's got a. What I noticed on this is, is it's, it's got a level on the actual mount head itself, and it also had one here, right there on the uh, actual tripod. So that's kind of nice. You get two there. And uh, as we spin this around, these knobs are really great. 
they're uh, super super large and you get a shot of it from this side here and uh, again here's the uh, flip this clutch off and uh, obviously some balancing has to go on here but uh, we'll go and get this thing put on the tripod and get the counterweight bar on it and uh, we'll be right back okay so I'm trying to adjust my latitude here and I uh, just wanted to point something out this uh, actual uh, this uh, comes with a uh, piece of plastic that's over this right so you can see your scale um, so once you do though it's not really easy to read as you can see uh, let me see if I can get this focused as best I can there you go but the problem is uh, I don't know if you can tell my fingers you really can't tell if they're referring to that line uh, I'm assuming that that's where they're talking um, or is it the front because it actually has a little bit of a, a dip there as you can see so I'm assuming it's a line let me uh, move this a little bit um, it does move rather easy as they advertise as you spin your your knob here uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and that's just a quick uh, observation now the lighting is probably not the best for you guys to see that but I'm assuming it's probably that center line that's what it appears it just doesn't appear clear when you first look at it so more to come okay I want to take a second to talk about the uh, the uh, counterweight bar this counterweight bar is is I mean it's thick it's got a really nice texture uh, uh, finish to it it almost looks like uh, uh, brush nickel if you will so this would be a really pretty bar it's not a chrome bar like you normally get on your smaller ones this would be a really pretty bar if you wanted to get yourself some uh, some nice uh, uh, weights that were the same color uh, like they have on the astrophysics uh, some of the higher end uh, stainless uh, counterweights look really nice on this bar but this is really a nice bar and it's got a nice link to it too so in the event that you only want, I think this only comes with one counterweight, I'll find out here in a second, uh, you can extend it down pretty far and uh, you might get by with just one counterweight, depending on what your equipment is that you're putting on it. So more to come. Okay, something else I wanted to point out here, uh, pardon me, I'm trying to record with one hand. Uh, the tool, just like they uh, show on the normal CGX, um, is fits right up underneath here. So it comes out and... Uh, you know, they kind of uh, put these bolts together. What you have is you have like a nylon washer, then you have a steel washer. And that's kind of a nice addition, and they've kind of mimicked that uh, throughout the entire mount, even up here and all the ones around the side. And um, when you put it in a hole, you have that nylon washer there with your steel washer. You know, it just kind of keeps you from scratching up, uh, you know, the outside of the, the mount base here. So that's uh, just a little added touch that I mentioned. Okay, I did want to point out that this uh, has one 22-pound counterweight that does come with it. It's not two. However, you can purchase them. I think they're about 110 or 15 plus shipping. Um, I did, uh, and that's if you have enough equipment. I'm going to tandem mount, so it's hard to say with the C8 and a fairly heavy uh, uh, SolarMax uh, 2 uh, double stack. Uh, I may need to buy another weight. I'm not sure. But I did have uh, some things on here that I noticed, uh, such as, uh, this looks like it's set up for a right-handed uh, uh, person. Uh, I, I favor my right, and I mounted this here and let the strap kind of rest so it won't slide up and down. But it doesn't seem like, and I know over time this will probably stretch, but like there's quite enough. Plus, it looks like they put, uh, I guess they were thinking left-handed because they put the Ox 2 on this side, the Ox 1 over here. So not a big deal. You're not going to stretch it over here. You'd, if anything, you'd stretch it to the you'd right hand mount but just a small thing I thought I'd um, point out and uh, so anyway so I'm going to go ahead and get the solar scope and put it on here and uh, see if I can get it plugged up and do a little demo okay I have mounted the uh, solar scope and uh, I had to move the so uh, weight all the way up actually it's still uh, not uh, quite balanced but I think it's good enough uh, I won't put too much of a strain on the motors to test it out um, and once I get my uh, tandem mount up here I may get by without having to buy another weight, not sure. So let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Just got my threaded power supply. It does come, by the way, with uh, the one that you use for your car, but uh, you can pick one of these up for about 60 bucks from Celestron as the threaded barrel. Take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and power it on, see if we get uh, 
for DOA. Looks like we got some some information here, which is good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've already done a simulated polar alignment and also uh, a star alignment. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. It's currently uh, left on uh, Procyon or Procyon, and I'm going to go ahead and move it now to uh, Andromeda. Uh, to the right would be east, and to the left would be west. So this should go, currently Andromeda's in the northwest. So let's see if this uh, slews to the left here. Looks like we're going in the right direction. This has, by the way, got a really nice, smooth, nice sound to the motors on this. And while it's slewing, by the way, it's just dead whisper quiet. So uh, we'll see if this moves here to the left. Should go... Uh, Pretty much swing it all the way around, and uh, we'll see what happens here. We've already stopped there, so they're looking good so far. So the northwest should be coming up here shortly, and it simulated alignment, so it may not be right on, but uh, there it goes, stops. So that's good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and move it back to the home position now, and uh, we'll slew this right back around. And uh, I don't know if any of you are, are in the market for a new mount, uh, but uh, in this price tag uh, at under $5,000, it, uh, it really is a monster mount. All right, and I'll post more videos as I uh, start to use it and uh, get it tandem mounted and uh, start to use it at night. Take care. Make sure you join my cat channel. Bye.